Say hey, Yellow Jacket football fans. Welcome to the Coach Hal Lamb Show. First round of the playoffs. A very talented and young Pace team came in. I think there's only eight or ten seniors on this team. They're predominantly a sophomore, junior, junior, sophomore, freshman class. And Coach, you had me worried about this game because you were, you were talking like Lou Holtz and how good they were. And I believe they're good. And the one thing I keep remembering from our radio interview this week was, we're going to have to line up, we're going to have to come to the point of attack, gang tackle, and we're just going to have to match up athlete for athlete. I'd say our athletes are pretty doggone good. Yeah, I thought we played very well tonight. I, I was really concerned <clears throat> about their defense. I thought yes. their defense was, was very good because they showed multiple looks to us and, um, you know, they stunted a lot. They, they stunted on, on the uh, Zach's long touchdown run, which helped us. Uh, so they they stunt themselves out of play sometimes, but we thought their corners were pretty good. Um, now their corners were good. And they thought their secondary was good. And their kicker was good. Um, but we felt good about you know our defense against their offense. But uh, you you know it was a tight game for you know the first half, and then I think the muff punt really changed the complexion of the game. But our kids really really played well. When. Gavin threw the touchdown pass to Brandon. My first response over the air, unfortunately my mouth keeps going, was, oh no. Then he outran the ball and outran double coverage. I'd say he's pretty healthy right now. Yeah, he is. You know, we, that was, I think that was the last play we had to win. So of the had, of that quarter. Of that quarter. So we had to take a shot and what, you know, there's not a better way to take a shot than throwing it to Brandon whether he's double covered or not. And, I thought Gavin made a great throw, and Brandon uh, ran a great route, and he, he made a great catch. And that was uh, that was the series where the previous ser the first series of the third quarter, we opened with a decent drive, mm -hmm. but then we were forced to punt. They muffed the punt, and the very next play, we score a touchdown. Then we get the ball back on our next series, and you call a timeout with six seconds left in the third quarter and throw a touchdown pass. <laughs> Yeah, well, we wanted to, uh, like I said, we, that was the last play before the, we, we had the win. So yes, yeah. We, you know, we were thinking we needed to throw a deep ball and try to get a score there. It worked pretty well. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Let's take a pause and then go look at the first half highlights. You're going to love them. You're watching the Coach Hal Lamb Show. Welcome back to the Coach Hal Lamb Show and a little nippy at game time. 49 degrees and it felt like 46 with a 7, 8 mile per hour wind out of the north. Yeah, I thought the wind was going to die down. You know, I was working on the field. Here's a softball team we're oh. going to talk about. Go ahead. That's our state champion softball team. Congratulations to Coach Smith and her staff and the girls. Outstanding job. Fourth state championship in the last five years. And at the end of September, there probably wasn't a handful of people in the state giving us a shot to repeat after we lost all those girls that signed college scholarships mm -hmm. from last year. But the girls played their best softball of the year in October, and they just kept getting better and better. They went 4-0 in the tournament. Assistant coaches Kayla Ralston and Lisa Drake, as they're getting posed together for pictures. A couple of the girls had a signing day today. Yes, they did. Adela Carver and Tori Roper uh, had the signing today. So congratulations to them. And this team is fairly young. Yes, now, they are. You know, we're going we're gonna to miss Tori Roper. We're going to miss Matty Bumgardner. And we're going to miss Adela Carver. Adela Carver, I used to call, I called her all season a wisp of a lady. Mm -hmm. Because you never ask a woman what her weight is. Yeah. She's that way, 130 pounds. <laughs> Quick wrist. Yep. Elementary school choir doing a nice rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. You know, with the young and sometimes their voices aren't too loud, they got it going. Oh. They did good. Captains for tonight's game are? You got Porter Law, J.C. Fuller, um, C.J. Fuller, and Zeke Nance. When did C.J. Fuller start playing tight end? We had to throw him in there a little bit this, this week. Oh, I like that. Yeah. 130 consecutive region victories. It was a great night for football. Yes, I was saying was. earlier, you know, I was working on the field this afternoon a little bit in the wind, you know, it was about 12 to 15 miles an hour, and I, I came back and looked at com my computer and said it was going to die down a little bit, but I don't know if it died down very much. And I, a couple times, Old Glory was stiff in the breeze. Mm -hmm. 
stiffen the wind there. All black uniforms, a very neat look. I love this uniform. And uh, it was the blue and gray Knights of Pace Academy. We won the coin toss, deferred the second half, and chose the wind, of course. Yeah, that was a big, uh, big coin flip, really. We wanted to have the win in the beginning. I thought we did a pretty decent job on kick return tonight. Yeah, we did, you know, except for this one. Uh, Eduardo didn't kick it like he normally does, but uh, I thought our coverage was decent here. It wasn't great, but it was decent. Good tackle by I'll Bailey Lester. Tell you what, every time they hand the ball to number two, look how big 69 is. Uh, every time they hand the ball to number two, 6'1", 255, scared me to death. Mm -hmm. He's a load. He is. He's a good player. He's supposedly committed to the University of Miami as a fullback. He's flying down tonight. Yep or early tomorrow. Yep. If you're uh, committed to Miami and they bring you down for the Notre Dame game, I think they really want you. Yeah. Yeah. 69's lined up on the left-hand side, but you watch this front six, folks. I thought Bryce Craig did a pretty good job against big number 69. He's supposedly the top offensive lineman in the country. And uh, I thought he was off sides a lot tonight that they didn't call. Uh, he couldn't get to Bryce Craig there to block him. No. We had to move to front, that's for sure. And I thought we did a good job. I thought you controlled both lines of scrimmage mm -hmm. really well, and that was the key to the game, obviously. So, Mr. Uh, I forget his first name, but uh, Raymond is the quarterback. His dad owns a Chevy dealership in the Atlanta area. I think he gave his kids a Veos to drive, and we got the Z28. <laughs> because they found out how quick and fast we are, especially laterally. We're forcing a punt here on three and out, and we try to go block it, and they blocked it up pretty good. And, um, but it goes off the right side of yep. his foot. We scared him. So we're going to get good field position here. We start this game off with good field position. Yes, we do. We got it at midfield. You couldn't ask for much better. No. We got our wing set in, with, uh, and we... We felt like we had to get uh, a little bit of strength in there, so we had Colin in there running, uh, you know, a lot of down blocks and stuff. Uh, that didn't look like much of a game. It's four yards. Yeah. That was a good, good run on the buck sweep. And then we get our, another tight end set here, throw a screen out here. And Brandon, they played our screens fairly de decent, except for I think we got a long one late. And we didn't try many of them uh, as, like we normally do. I like the Colin Baggett move. Yeah. Look at that block. That was a good, tough run by uh, Zach for a first down. Yeah, you, the tunnel screen got four, and then he picks up another three. Mm -hmm. So it's first and ten jackets. We had a really big play here. Uh, no, that's not the one. We run the zone here. Get that's about two yards. That's how hard we're hitting him, folks. That's a 6'1", 280-pounder. We knocked the lid right off his head. So we got two tights here. You did some unbalance tonight, too, yep, didn't you? Yep, they bring this. This is a, almost a good, it was a good coverage by number nine. A good play at the end. Yep, and, uh, and Gavin, the ball was, Gavin had pressure. But the ball was in the right spot, yep. high and to the outside. This was a, uh, this is the one that we had to, we had, to, we had a little uh, quick kick on here, and it might messed it up. But blocked. But blocked it. Yeah. Is he supposed to drop back a couple extra yards? Yes, yes. <laughs> but you end up with good field yep. position. 16-yard line. Yeah. And well, we do that in practice every Thursday, and we get it inside the five. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Yeah. The wind got it, yeah. knocked it down. The, look, look at this. That's, that's great speed and closing speed and, and great tackle. Is, is he the best open field tackler yes. he's ever had? Yes, yeah, I, I, I'd have to say yes. I mean, he just he goes to the ball. It's like a scud missile. And there's number two. They try to run him on the zone. And he is a big boy, folks. If I was a coach, I'd have to have him somewhere on my team. Mm -hmm. He's a hoss. Of course, there's about 11 on the other side I'd like to have on my team, too. Those black shirts. We had a really good plan defensively. You know, if you notice, we, we had a heavy set where we'd throw um, Owen in there and Colin in there right. and Porter Law. For, they ran a lot of wishbone. That wishbone was their number one set, and they didn't run it one time tonight. He told me before the game that's what they run. Yeah. We run a wishbone. It's just a, 
It's a regular old straight T yeah. offense I out mean, of the that, wishbone. Yeah, it's not really a triple option. They just no. power, power bone. Right. They didn't run it one time, which was... I can't believe they threw the ball as much as they did. Me either. I think they knew they couldn't run the ball. There's a good run by the, on the buck sweep by Zach. Good blocking out on the perimeter. How much has Matthew Ralston improved? He's gotten so much better. We were talking about that tonight. I mean, Coach, we run to the right, and there's just look at him neutralize that guy, and then he slides off and picks up the outside guy. That play right there, we pull three guys. We pull the guard, Baggett, and then we pull <laughs> C.J. on yeah. the backside. So we had three of them in there. I'll tell you what, C.J. had fun tonight. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he had a big time. Time out by pace. They, they don't like what's going on. We're trying to play fast here, and we got a really good play here if we get the ball down just a little bit. Yeah. Turf Monster's got us. Line up in shotgun formation. Gavin steps up into the pocket. That was a heck of a throw by Gavin under pressure and a great catch by Braylon. Good route. You know, he showed last year he can throw the ball under pressure. Yes, he can. Quick, throw hurry quick up, out quick here. down and out. Mm -hmm. For about five yards, that's what we're looking for. Extended handoffs, and they work. Now, see, see what he gained? Got a good mm -hmm. three-yard gain. Yep. We're down to the 10. We're playing fast here. Good play call right here on the shoot route by Zach. Down to about the three for first down. That was third and about four. They never covered the back out of the infield mm -hmm. all night. Nope. Gavin under center. This is almost dangerous right here. We had a bad snap. Yeah, we didn't handle the snap well. But we've got the ball. The ball was down. They thought they may have had it, but he was down. So we lose a yard. We're back to the four. So we might as well keep the symmetry of the digits in line. Let's hand it to 24. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Colin goes in motion to the right. Run balance to the right. They good. grab his shirt, and that's not going to work. Good run right there by Zach. Good blocking on the perimeter there for our first touchdown of the night. And I believe that's his 15th of the year. Line up in a tight extra point formation. Kicking was good again tonight. Yes, it was very good. Very good. Got two field goals. Mm hmm Yeah. I think that puts him at. I think he's only missed one all year long. Eight of nine, yeah. Right? Yeah, I think so. Eight. Yeah. I'll just get that out while we're looking at this. We lead seven to nothing. 322 left. Nice drive, right? Yeah, it was a good drive. It was uh, excellent execution on offense. The, the critical play there was uh, the third down play from uh, Gavin to Braylon on the corner route. I agree. So, thank you for it. Catching that ball. On the sideline. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the second or third game in a row yep. uh, returner's done that. That's what freshmen do. He's, he's a freshman, number eight. He's a good freshman, too. Oh, yeah. One of the corners. Yeah. So they line up first and ten. Bad field position. They had a couple bad, several bad snaps. And, and this, this kid's 6'2", 186. And he's a freshman as well. Yes, he is. So they've got the ball out to the 23-yard line. Or it's first and 10. There's 320 left when they started this possession. Put some pressure on him. And I think he heard feet coming. <laughs> <laughs> or cold hands. Two receivers left and right. They threw a hitch out here for a first down. Well, they had a penalty. Yes, they did. Back him up. Yeah, illegal procedure. Yeah, he is a big kid. Yes, Reminds me is. of those Cedar Grove kids. Look yeah. how big he is. Mm -hmm. he, the guys beside him are pretty big, but they, he makes them look small. Yeah. Yeah. It's like uh, Kenny Cooper down at Georgia Tech when he lines up next to that big right yeah. guard. Cooper's 285 and he looks yeah. small. Good play by Tripp there to, on third down. Hold the game to minimal coverage. Yeah, that one coach told me, we, we were lined up in a wishbone all the time. Bull pucky. Look at him trying to bounce it outside. There's no place to go, Coach. Look at that coverage. Good speed by Davis Allen and Brandon Spector. Bailey Lester plugging a hole. Mm -hmm. Zeke Nance said he got held all night. <laughs> nice fair catch. Catches at 47, so great field position. And another 
Good defensive stop by the black shirts. Our pound and shoot was more pound early in the game. A little out route out here to loop for about five. You know, one point in the second half, you had 163 yards passing and 163 yards rushing. Wow. That's pretty good 50-50 split that you like. Mm. Look, look, look at him, faking out people. I think he should have stayed up inside there. He'd got more yards, but he got three yards the hard way. Yeah. Wide receiver left and right. Colin playing the H back, going in motion. We did jump there, did it? Yep, we flinched. Yeah, uh, we Matthew flinched there. Yeah. I think that was third and about three. Now it makes third and eight, I believe. Yes, you're right. Third and six. Third and six. And Second third, quarter. Second quarter begins. Good call here. Watch this. Good execution. Slobber knocker delivered by the offensive player. Just ran right through mm -hmm. it. Good throw, good catch by Gavin and Davis Allen on the tight end shoot route. At, at 66 running around weighs 280, folks. Look at Davis Allen handling. A little quick down and out. Get it down to the 25-yard line. Look at him. Look at him spin through the hole. Look at him. Good hard running there by Zach plus a face mask. And a hole on the left-hand side, and then he, mm -hmm. then he does a lot of work. He gets that second level, that B level, and he keeps on going. We needed to get six on this drive, yeah. and we had a really good play call here for a touchdown, I thought. And yep. We flinched. Yep. Back us up to the 14, illegal procedure. We had another talkative crew tonight, didn't we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> I thought they were fairly good, though. Oh, yes, I thought they called a good game. They were very professional. It was a good crew. Good job right here hitting James out of the backfield. He had lined up as your H back mm -hmm. that time, or whatever you call it. Yep, that's right. So we get it down to the six. And I, if Zach keeps it. Yeah, that's a read there. I know. Uh, yep. It's going to be a foot race to the pylon. So it's third down. Yes, from the five. Mm -hmm. Zach behind shotgun Gavin. Double tights. Just we'll try to throw a slant there, and they, they covered it up pretty good, so we've got to kick a field goal. But we're in great hands kicking field goals because Mr. Gutierrez is two for two tonight. So we get it to a two-score game. We'd like to have 14, but at least we've got 10. Yeah. Uh, Elmer is now 9 for 10 on the season for field goals. And I think we were worried about this earlier in the season. Yes, we were. Toe meets leather. A pooch kick. Yeah, that's what we try to do when we're kicking the ball into the wind. We right. try to get it as high as we can. And uh, well, They take over to 37. Yeah, you'd like it down around yeah, the 25. Yeah, a little bit uh, further, but not bad. With this black shirt defense, it can be good. Yeah. It, that's only a one-yard gain, and that tailback is starting seven to eight yards behind the line of scrimmage. He had a good head of steam going, mm -hmm. but we stopped him flush. Davis almost had that one. Yes, he did. Just a tad late. They ran a lot more spread than we anticipated. Yeah. Dives forward, gets about a four-yard gain. It's going to bring up second and six. Coach Hobb the Elder. They call a face mask on us here. Yeah, 15 yards. The um, Coach Hobb the Elder, happy with the giving up just three points? Yes, very happy. <laughs> I know it's not a shutout. No. And he does love those shutouts. The quarterback made a nice job of stabbing that high snap. Bailey Lester with the pressure. Davis brings him down. If that ball gets over his head, that's trouble. They can give us a sideline warning. I think they get us later in the game for that, don't Yep, they do. Five-yard penalty. Mm -hmm. Tied into the right. Oh, we had him. Mm -hmm. And good almost effort. got him again. Yep, good effort by Bailey. He got up off the ground and almost got him. Now, don't get us wrong, Perryman's a good runner. Yeah, yeah, he's a good back. 
I mean, they got good people. It's just that we played well tonight, Coach. Double wing formation. Shotgun. More or less an empty backfield. Bad snap. Raymond picks it up and throws it out mm. here. Ooh, if that would have been low, Brandon would have got that one and taken it to the house. Yeah, if he's throwing a good pass. And this kid makes, what, 48 yards? 48 yard Line drive. I, I thought we were going to block it. Yeah, we were close. We get lined up finally, and here we come. Jump! Almost mm. got it. He barely yeah. makes it, but he goes through there. He's got a 50-yarder to his credit this yeah, year. Yeah, he's a good kicker. He's got a good leg. 10 to 3. And they keep running the clock, Coach. Well, they finally stopped it. Yeah, we know. ECO that. had a bad time. Well, yes, he did. He was struggling. He would yes, play he clock, too. <laughs> he, he was really struggling. All right, they're going to kick off to us, and this kid's got a strong leg. Yeah, we knew this one going in the end zone with the wind. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. We just watch it sail back. We're going to get it at the 20. In fact, he kicked it out of the end zone. I saw tan turf pop up. Hmm. Or do we call that gold? <laughs> Don't call it tan. No. <laughs> Running play over the left-hand side. Brandon Spector, you're working him into the run game. Yeah, we had him back there at tailback a little bit. Then we go quads. Empty backfield. Diamond quad formation on the right-hand side to the wide. Pull it down and do this. is a good run. And they got a holding on us. That's No, he called a chop block. Oh, that's right, yeah. Bad, bad call. He hit him on the hip. Yeah, he did. That's a big penalty. That's a 15-yarder in there. What people don't realize watching this film right here is we're dead into the end of the wind. And we lose play, we lose yards on the next mm -hmm. play. But we recover. So we're third and 26 here. Yes, we are. And we take a shot, you know, Coach Davis and I talked about it, just throw it, you know, throw a deep post to loop and let's, you know, be good at, just as good as a punt if something that happens, but we got better than that to call pass interference. Which is a 15 yard penalty, but since it was third and 26, now it's going to be third and 11. Yep. And it's not an automatic first down like it is in college and pros. So we called a timeout? Mm -hmm. uh, they did. They did? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they used up their timeouts pretty quick. Fine drew over the middle. They stripped the ball, but he was yeah, down we on the did, ground. We didn't get uh, you got to run the proper distance for a first, first down. down, but we didn't. So we got to punt into a win. So the, the momentum is shifted toward their way just a little bit right here. They got a little pep in their step mm -hmm. right yeah, after the series. They get a little feisty. So the ball hit, hits the ground and then goes backwards and we down it. And then later on in the game when we wanted to do that, yeah. it rolls into the end zone. So they got good field position. Uh, we're it's 10 to three at this point. Yes. This was a good stop by our defense. Excellent stop. Good hitting out there. Brandon finishes it off after uh, Peyton Morrow got the initial hit. Mm -hmm. Peyton drives him back. Look how big 69 is. <laughs> he is big and he's pulling. <laughs> yes, he is pulling. And then they give it a 255 pound back. Yes, that's not fair. No, it's not. <laughs> that's not fair. But he's got good feet. The yeah, kid's he a does. good player. Yeah, he's a good player. But we neutralized him. Mm -hmm. And they got quads out here. Motion back in the backfield. Which they do most of the time out of this quad. Mm -hmm. So they take a timeout. So they're down to one timeout left. Looks like they're going to run the same play. Quarterback keeps it, and this is not the guy they went running on third and short, is it? No, great team speed right there. Coach, we, we just we just show. Great lateral speed. Mm -hmm. Your weight room's paying off. Yep. Tommy Hobbitzel does a good job. Mm, we got to get under that thing, trip. Get under it. That's a pretty good kid he's covering. So it's third and one. we we'll make a big stop right here by, I believe that was Zeke getting through there. Zeke and, and Bailey. Yes. And I was surprised they lined up for a field goal. Yeah, I was too. Very surprised. I thought they'd go. Put the 255 pounder mm -hmm. back there. Yeah. I'm glad they didn't. Yeah. High snap. We almost got to it, and well, he misses it short. Hit it low, wide right. Big stop by our defense with a minute and 18 to go in the first half. And your thought pattern here is Run into the, the wind. Clock. Run the clock. Yep. yep. Get out of here. Yep. 
And we do run the ball. Mm -hmm. Zach does a good job. Cuts inside a block by Colin Baggett. Gets good positive yards. Number two is complaining about being held. Hmm. But you got to hold a guy that big. <laughs> Every now and then. But then we block him good, so what's his complaint now? And the clock runs out, and we have a 10-3 to, 10 to 3 lead. So you go in at halftime, and the message to the guys is? Just keep playing. We're going to wear them down eventually. You know, they, they, uh, you know, they don't have many numbers, so we have to play some kids both ways, especially interior linemen. Right. So we felt like we could wear them down in the fourth quarter if we keep, you know, keep pounding, keep pounding, and uh, uh, put a few wrinkles in at halftime, and uh, we were... We felt good about it, but, you know, the score is just 10 to 3. We're right. only up seven points, so the game could turn easily. So we had to keep pushing the pedal to the metal, and uh, that's what we did, and we, we came away with a victory. Pretty confident in your black shirt defense, aren't you? Yes, yes. You know, when you got a defense like we got, it's, you know, it's easier to make decisions, and it's easier, you know, you feel pretty good about them not scoring. Uh, you know, unless they get a freak long pass or something or a tip ball. So. And number four scares you yes, from that he is. standpoint. Yes, he's very scary, yep. And, and, every and the quarterback now. actually threw the ball better than we thought from the films that we saw. You know, he was slinging around in warm-up. I was watching him in warm-up. He's got good very technique. Well, yeah, he, he's a good thrower, and uh, we hadn't seen that on film. So um, we were a little bit concerned after pregame warm-up. <laughs> They're waiting for the eighth grader. Yeah. The oh, they got one? They got an eighth grade quarterback, it's an RPO kid, and they're waiting for him. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> uh, according to uh, Rusty, when he steps on campus next year with varsity football practice, He'll it's going to be, be his job to lose. Wow. Yeah, they, they like him. I know it was nippy outside, you got a little cool at the game, but now you're back home in a Barker lounger. You can sit down, have a Daddy O's donut, and enjoy the best doggone band in the land, the pride of Georgia's Northland, 290 marching strong, led by Larry Brown and assisted by Sarah Knapp and led on the, onto the field by our fourth-year drum major, Sarah Green. You're watching the Coach Hal Lamb Show. Go back and reprise burlesque with trumpet quartet Gavin Hadley, Ethan Brown, John Reed, and Logan Rigney. The band is under the direction of Larry Brown and Sarah Knapp. Additional staff members are Tracy Faraba, Major Ed Coach, Madison Baker, Assistant Major Ed Coach, Robert Melville, Percussion Instructor, Meredith Holden, Color Guard Instructor. Drum Major Sarah Green is the band ready. You may take the field. And now the pride of Georgia's Northland, the Calhoun High School marching yellow jackets.
the pride of Georgia's Northland, the Calhoun Marching Yellow Jackets. All right, guys, it's time to get out your winning ticket. Check for your ticket number. Tonight's split the pot is $792. $792. Welcome back to the second half of the Coach Hal Lamb Show. We're up 10 to 3 at halftime. Like you said, keep the pedal to the metal and just keep doing what we've been doing. And you said you added a couple of wrinkles at halftime. Yeah, we, we added a couple of things that uh, actually one of them was a touchdown, touchdown a little uh, out and up over there that we threw to Brandon for a touchdown. And, uh, and a couple other things that we didn't get to show, but uh, you know, we had, we had a few wrinkles that we liked that we put in at halftime, but uh, we didn't need them. It's nice that you didn't have to show them. That's right. Let's keep, we'll Monroe, save them. Let's keep Monroe area guessing in case yep. they can find Calhoun at DBClub.com. All righty. We won the coin toss at, uh, at the beginning of the game, so we're going to get the ball to start the second half, which is why you could be conservative at the end of the first half. Yeah, I was really concerned about, I mean, I really surprised that they took, didn't take the win in the third yes. quarter, being down. Right. Uh, so I was glad to get the, the win in the third quarter, and that's what I told Coach Day. I said, we need to make a move here in the third quarter because we got to win. I think the, the kicker didn't get the whistle from the referee, so from the one-yard line, here comes Brandon Spector. Goes to the right, and then they had good coverage on this kickoff. Yeah, kick they up. did. It was a good high kick is what it was. Yes, it was. So it gave him a lot of time to get down there. We're going to trade our tight end. Well, I haven't seen trading tight end since Wayne T. It's been a long time, <laughs> Yes, it has. <laughs> now, that didn't look like much, but they're going to spot the ball at the 20. And we got a flag here at the end of the play. Personal foul face mask. So good hard run. Then we get 15 more. Yep. Which is a good start. We got it at the 35 yard line. Which is where we would have mm -hmm. liked to have been in the first place. Mm -hmm. Fake running over the left side, pick up a yard. Yeah, we had a blown assignment there up front. Double tights. We got them all up there. Yes, you did. Throw the ball, and he had a lot of pressure, and fortunately it found an open spot in the field. That was a good job by their defense there. Good job by uh, Gavin getting rid of it. Now, this is when they're playing with a little bit more defensive yes. vigor. Mm -hmm. They showed six on the line of scrimmage, dropped their two inside linebackers, and that could have been close to interference. Yeah, it was close. I mean, he had his arm right. He mm -hmm. actually turned Brandon before the ball yep. got there. This is the play of the game here. This is the play of the game. This is the best punt Aaron's had in a long time. Mo changes. That's Zane McCracken covering it. Snapped yes. it. Yes, it was. And covered it. And your snapper. And I missed that. I got the wrong number during the call. We caught him in a stunt right here. Yes, you did. Stunting on the backside, and, and Zach just got Ooh, a face, face mask. mask. Got two face masks, I think. Yes. But it's a touchdown. Mm -hmm. We'll decline the penalty. Yes, we will. <laughs> Actually, we'll get it on the kickoff. Yes, you do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Since it was on the touchdown run, and that'll lead us to a nice touchback. I can't wait to show this kickoff. But first, let's do the extra point. Tight formation. Zach is just, I mean, Coach, he faked out so many of their guys tonight. Plant that foot and making a cut. I have to give his running backs coach some credit. <laughs> that was good execution there on the offense running the old. All that is is power. Yes, it is. That was a power play. And Mac Daddy's on the right-hand side open in a big hole. Ben King, J.C. Fuller, Matthew Ralston. I think he had a tight end in that time too, didn't you? Yeah, we had a heavy set in. Yeah. And C.J. in there. He just kicked that line drive right down the middle of the field mm -hmm. with her split. So they get it at the 20. That's his ninth touchback of the season, I believe. And he just he was high and outside or low and inside all night. That was uh, that was a big play in the game there to, to go up two scores, 17 to three. You're, you're breathing a little bit easier on the sideline. Well, you are knowing the offense. Look at this. Look at this uh -huh. speed. Look at this slobber knocker. Good job by Davis Allen. And he's Mike, little, that's a Mike linebacker. And he's a little pumped. Mm-hmm. Because th this is not a slow team. This is an athletic team, but. Obviously, we're very athletic and fast and quick. Quarterback rolls to the right. Bailey Lester all over him. 
And the field goal kicker warming up next to the net had the best shot at that. Hmm. Now they have to put punt into the wind. Which we like. As Mark Walter puts his foot into the ball, he's a junior. A nice scary catch, there. But a nice catch. We'll get it at midfield. Second time we've had the ball at midfield. 8-17 left. We've tried a little double pass here. Where was he going to throw to? He was throwing to Tyler Putnam, but uh, they had it covered up pretty yes, good. Did. He did a good job. Let's leave him in. Let's let him run a draw. Oh, man, we had a good play right here. Well, big number two smelled yep. it out. Yep. That's a 100-pound difference in <laughs> players. <laughs> 255 to 150. That's yeah, probably more than 100. <laughs> probably more. Roll to the left. If we, mm. Just a little bit behind him. Yep. Because he was right at the first down stick. Yep. Going to bring up a punting situation. That was, wasn't a very good series there. We had good field position. And, and a daggum ball takes a bounce and... Mm. Yeah, we, we wanted to punt from earlier in the yeah. game. It pops up in the air. But, hey, it's a 44-yard punt. They take over with their 20-yard line. Motion. Give to Perryman. Oh, we're hitting him. Look at that. That's Zeke hitting him first and knocking him backwards. Then we finish him off. A lot of black shirts around that ball. That's what you like to see. Well, you said we had a gang tackle, and I think they heard the, mm -hmm. heard the message. That right, that left guard was moving so much. Wide right, incomplete. Good coverage out mm -hmm. there, Coach. So third and long. We, we felt like if we can make them throw the ball, which is not what they like to do. It's third uh, and 12. They throw a little screen here, and they got a good play for a first down. I'd throw the ball to him. Look, mm. look at this kid run. Good play call. Good execution there. They ran the two or three screen, Yeah. I think they run them back to back here. Yes. Little yeah, yeah after the play. First and 10 from the 40, double eyes, left and right. Look at this, look at this, look at this coach. That's Davis Allen, mm -hmm. your middle linebacker, and then Peyton coming up, lending some help. I'm gonna have to resurrect your uh, nickname from a few years ago. Mm. Another screen. And they like that middle screen. That's Perryman. Used to be 23. He's three. Quads to the left. Single split up top. He's looking for him. We knew they were eventually, <coughs> eventually going to do this. Boy, this is a questionable pass. Yeah, I thought that was good, good coverage. I mean, he Braylon. had his hands all over Braylon's shoulder pads. There's, there's no face guarding rule in mm -hmm. high school. Nope. You don't have to look back. He did look back. Braylon did. Mm -hmm. I just thought that was good defense. Another high snap. They run a wildcat with Perry. Wildcat. Who was? That was see, Davis. Did you yes. see Davis knock two guys down yes. behind the play? <laughs> no wonder they got tired in the third quarter. So this is part of what they used to run, the wishbone. Missing the back on the they called intentional grounding, which is lost yeah. down and a five yard. Yeah, you can't do that in high school. The bad part about it for them was it's not marked off from the line of scrimmage. It's marked the point of where it so made contact. Third and real long. Yes, it is. Here they come out of the quads, bring Perryman into the backfield. A little Statue of Liberty play. Good game, good run. But, but they're it's still short. Yes, yeah. third and six. Fourth. Fourth and no, six. Fourth with and a try six. field goal. So, and I'm into the wind. And you, you're yeah. down. I just didn't understand this call. Wide right. We got a decent rush on that call. Yes, we do. What's funny is <laughs> this, that's the first time we've seen them in that quad set. Really? And it's the first time we ran quads this year. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> that's, I so both that was bringing out at yeah. the same time. Yeah, we ran quads a bit in the past. Mm -hmm. Motion by Colin. We got a big gap between the guard there on the, but it's working, isn't it? That was a good run by Zach. We didn't have much there. We, they got us uh, up the A-gap there. Yeah, but look what he gained. Mm -hmm. Put Gavin under center. 
Yeah, nice voice inflection. Pull him off sides. That was third and about three and gave, gave us the first down. Yes, it did. Designed to go under center and draw him off? Yes, we were in our goal line. We were in our sumo set. Throw a screen out here to... Oh, he's one, one he player. Close, one really player. close. He got a shoulder on him and drove him out of bounds or else he's to the house. First and 10 jackets at their 41-yard line. They call timeout? Yes. We're trying to quick snap them, a little NASCAR. We see Brandon in motion. Put a little screen out here to <laughs> Braylon. He gets eaten up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we line up in shotgun formation. Give to Zach. No, we don't. We throw it out here to Tyler. Nice play fake. Good job First right there. Great execution. He never left the line of scrimmage, nope. more or less. Mm -mm. Just waited for our, what, our deep guy to drive him off. Ooh, nice job. Almost dangerous there. 36 came in on a stunt. He came hard. Mm -hmm. Put the bug in the game. Quads out left. Got the big boys jumping around up there, Coach. You see that? <laughs> we didn't freeze him at the line of scrimmage much tonight either. No, we didn't. We're going to call a timeout. And what did we see? Well, we changed the formation. We didn't, we didn't like what we had called. So we knew we had one play left. Six seconds left. And that was a great throw and a great catch, even a double team. Out of a double team. And when that ball was thrown, I said, oh, no, yep. it's a touchdown. <laughs> so that penalty is going to be assessed on the kickoff. On the kickoff sideline. How do they see that? I don't know. Because the play's over. I, I mean, don't get me started on that. I okay. can talk for 20 minutes. Yeah, okay. Tight extra point formation. Zane McCracken snapping. Porter Law holding. And an on target, Elmer Gutierrez. It's on its way to the baseball diamond. We're breathing easier now, Coach, 24 to 3. Yes, we are. 12 minutes left in the game. Yeah, I couldn't. Uh, I had to find out, you know, were they going to switch quarter or we were going to have to kick with the win or Ex against the win. So right. Another, we lost five yards there and we thought 50 might, you know, 50's not used to handling the ball. We thought maybe he could drop that ball, but they got good field position here at the 40. First and 10. Yeah, I like this receiver. Unfortunately for them, they just can't get the ball to him often enough. Two flags at the end. Yeah, they had a block in the back. That, that was a good call. That was Perryman came yeah, out. Yeah, it was. KO'd one of us as mm -hmm. we were making a tackle. So it backs him up to the 41, where it's going to be first down again. Oh, good coverage, Coach. Yep, good coverage there. If it had been low, I think Tripp might have picked it off. They get in a quad so they can... Have maximum. That's a hold on Bailey. Oh, they yes. called it. Yes, they did. Oh, they ripped him good. They had a hold of his shoulder yeah. pads. Back him up another 10. So they've got the ball back at the 24 yard line. They're going backwards, coach. We like reverse. A little draw. Back to the left hand side. Coach, look at us cover that up. You got three guys Good there. Good job by Tripp and Bailey. So it's third and long. Real long. Three to the right. They left too early. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why that wasn't a false start and, and blown dead. I couldn't. They called it illegal Back, motion. Yeah, backfield motion. I was singing about Which this Which I was time. glad. You know, we declined it and made them punt. Yeah. So it brings up fourth down. Nice punt. Catch at the 30. Circle all the way back. And then we got a great return, but we got a block in the back behind the play at about the 22. Spin move. His balance is so good. Yeah, I didn't think that was a very good call either. The block in the back? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they also called a personal foul against us. Yeah, Braylon. Flipped the ball to the... Flipped the ball to the defender. He can't do that. Nope. So we got a, instead of plus 20, we on our own five and... Is this where we take it 
Uh, a long ways. Is this we have a good yeah. drive here? I actually started at the sixth. Wow. So we put together a long drive here in the fourth quarter. And folks, I'd already put this game in a book at the beginning of the fourth quarter. This really iced it. Mm -hmm. So this is a really nice drive. We eat up a lot of clock, about four and a half minutes. Got two receivers out here to the left. And we start eating up some clock yeah, here, which yeah. is smart on our part. The clock's your best friend right now. Yep. And fortunately, you got a line that's doing a lot of blocking. Now, three-yard gain. Mm -hmm. Didn't look like much. Tied in and wing to the right. We rolled to the right. And once again, they can't cover the back out of the backfield. No. First and 10 to Zach Fuller. That's a good third down conversion there. Great third down conversion. Mm -hmm. Give it to Zach again. He follows Colin Baggett, keeps his balance. Good hard run there. Good blocking. Coach had a shot at his legs. Yes. I mentioned the weight room strength. Mm -hmm. Switch the tight end and the wing, Colin Baggett. That's Zeke Nance, big dog. Buck sweep here, and we got a really good play, and just got to stay on our blocks. Yeah, if he keeps it up inside, mm -hmm. he's probably got a little bit of running room. We're out to the 36 yard line. Trade him again. Got him in a stunt, which is what we like, and we got a really good play here. Down the field he goes. Cuts back to the right-hand side. Cuts back to the left. The guy's going dizzy. Cuts back to the right again. <laughs> Finally get him down at the 15. And 21's thinking, geez, I'm glad that play's over. I, my head's spinning. <laughs> timeout by Pace, and they need a timeout. First and 10 from the 15. Oh, he was close. Yep. He was close to making a the cut there. Safety made a good play. 29 we thought was a good player for them. Yes, he is. Yeah, he squared up and made a nice tackle. That's six. Yep. Give it to Zach again. Tries to bounce mm. it outside. Not much there. He gets it down to the 10. He yeah, has the only probably bad cut he made all night. He needed to cut, cut that back to the left. Third down. Lines up left to Gavin. Double tights. We call a timeout. Yeah, we're going to see what they were going to line up in since we had a timeout to waste. And then we send motion here. Drew Rutledge. And then Gavin just zips a 90-mile-per-hour mm -hmm. fastball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to line up and kick a field goal. Why not? It's right in the middle of the field. 28-yarder. Snaps good. The ball's down. It hits the roof of the concession stand, and we're up 27-3. to three. And I'm a little bit surprised by the spread. But I'm not surprised the way this team's playing. Yeah, I agree with you. We got Elmer kicking off there. He kicks it deep. He kicks a nice kick. I think it fooled him. Mm -hmm. It drops it at the 11. Picks it up at the 8. Comes up the Good field. Good tackle right here by Greg Carr. Nice job by Greg. Look, Greg Carr. Greg's battled injuries all year long. And he's quick and fast. Mm -hmm. I think it's all that hair. Yeah. First and 10, they roll to the left. And we get a sack. And we got a flag because they're going to call face mask against us. I yeah, believe. it was a sack by CJ, and he did get us face mask. Face mask. So it's going to be a 15-yard personal foul against us. Gives them first and ten at their 28-yard line. 27 and a half. Quarterback pumps, throws it downfield, and this is great coverage great by Logan co Parker. Great coverage by Logan. Very good. He didn't let number four get behind him, Coach. Nope. Didn't bite on the out and up. Run the option to the left, and then it becomes a shovel pass mm -hmm. to number two. We shut him yeah. down that time. We hit him low. Yep. De defended that well. Hadn't seen that play either. Quarterback drops back. Finds the receiver down there. Good coverage. He's not going anywhere. And right now, let's let him eat some clock That's up. That's right. Because they started this drive when they got it back with 440 left in the ball game. A little swing pass out here on the left-hand side. And look how many tacklers you That's your defensive end out there. That's great defense there. That's Bryce Craig out there. I like Owen Williams, maybe. Coach John. And they go to quads. And then it's holding there by on Eric McKnight. But yes, but they didn't call it. Right in front of the ref. About two minutes to go in the game, I think. How much has Bryce Craig solidified your front three? Well, he's played well all year. 
Flip it out here to number 15. Good. They got four yards out of this, yeah, Coach. They did. That's all they got. Up to their 49-yard line. Three receivers left. Oh! Ooh. Bag it all over him. Wow. He put him in the baggie, and he's hurt. He's mm -hmm. tired. So we line up in our favorite formation with a buck 18 left. Yep, a big old victory play. Best play in football. Yes, it is. I think they got 11 guys up on the line of scrimmage like we're going to do something tricky. We're just letting the clock run down. Gavin under center, snap the ball, takes a knee, and the official smart, he's going to let the clock wind down and he did before he started the 25 mm -hmm. second clock. And the Jackets go onto the field with a big victory, 27 to 3. You know, we had a couple momentous streaks last week. The 17th consecutive region championship, or 130th consecutive region victory. But this keeps a streak intact, a couple streaks intact. Of course, it's our 18th consecutive region or state playoff appearance. Mm -hmm. This is the 17th consecutive year now with 10 plus wins. Wow. And it is the 17th consecutive year where you've had a season, including playoffs, of two losses or left, less. Wow. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, we're going to take a timeout. We're going to come back and look at the plays of the game, the Stingers. You're watching the Coach Hal Lamb Show. Say hey, Yellow Jacket fans. Welcome back to the plays of the game, the Stingers. We have three offensive plays. From the pound and shoot offense and three plays from the black shirt defense, and they're all good, so here we go. And our first this, one. This set the tone. Second or third play of the game, they try to toss sweep, and there's Brandon Spector making a play. That's thank, a free safety, folks. Thank goodness we have him for one more year. And then this, we got Elmer. Elmer knocking it through there with a snap from Zane and the hole from Porter. And Elmer is now, for the season, he is nine for 10 on field goals. Amazing. That's 90%. Mm -hmm. That's automatic, folks. All right, a big punt by Aaron Hayes. Got it nice and high in with the wind, carrying that ball, and there's Zane McCracken snapping and recovering the fumble. And that ball was kicked down to the 30 yard line, wasn't it? Mm hmm. And then he lost it on about the 20. 26. Yeah. All righty. And then we get Zach's run. They yeah. all the stunt from the outside. And Ooh, where's your shoe left? Ooh, face mask. Good play call right there for a for touchdown. You know how many running backs go down when the face mask is grabbed? Mm -hmm. But not him. Yep. Called timeout with six seconds left in the third mm -hmm. quarter. We had, to, we had to wind here and threw in the double coverage. It didn't matter. Good it's throw, good catch. Great throw, and then he just outruns the ball in the D. Mm -hmm. Man, what a weapon. And you're running him a little bit. <laughs> Defensive stop. Ooh. Oh, my. That was a hurry in technical terms, but I think you called it a kill. Slobber knocker. <laughs> yeah, slobber knocker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excellent game. Just excellent game. Um, I guess my question is, we come up against these offensive and defensive linemen. And it, it seems like every time we come up against them, we're not as big an offensive line as we were a couple of years ago with Jack DeFore and all the guys. Mm -hmm. and, and those guys are McIntyre and them. They're all mm -hmm. playing college ball. Yep. I mean, they were big guys and nasty. Yep. But we come up against these guys. And what do you, what do, you do to make these big guys a non-factor in the game? Well, you just got to stay on them. It's, you know, it's you got to get on them, and you might not get a whole lot of movement because they're bigger than you are. But uh, if you get a stalemate and let the back make a cut off of that, or you know, you got to be able to get some movement on a down block. You right. Know. And we did a lot of down blocking tonight just because of that. You know, we we hadn't run the buck sweep a whole lot this year, but we probably ran it, you know, ten times tonight. Yes, you and did. That's, uh, you know, us we're blocking down a lot and pulling guards and then the touchdown run that Zach made was all down blocks and one kick out block. So, 
you got to down block those guys, uh, or you can zone block them, but you're going to get more of a stalemate on the zone block. A lot of unbalance tonight. A lot of Colin Baggett as the H back acting like a pulling guard. And of course, when you got Zach Fuller running the ball, who just does not know how to quit. The Mac Dad is just a tremendous job. We ran a lot of double tights. It just a really good. Shane McPherson, Coach McPherson's got to be really happy with his line. I didn't get to see him after the game. Yeah, he, he, he's done a good job with those guys. You know, our, our plan tonight was to throw a lot of formations at them uh, early. You know, we were too tight, we were unbalanced, we were uh, twins over, we were wing, we were two back, we were one back, and, and then we were quads. So, you know, we tried to get them, give them a lot of stuff to think about. Coming into a game, we averaged 26 rushing plays, 26 passing plays. Uh, Zach gains over about six and a half yards of rush. Our top three receivers gain 17 yards plus per every catch. So we, we have more passing yards usually in, at the end of a game than we do have rushing yards. You know, at this particular game, we ended up with 168 yards of rushing on 29 carries, 163 yards passing on 15 and 22 by Gavin. We held pace to 110 yards passing, 36 yards rushing. That's pretty good. You know, I've always said, you know, if you force the offense to do something they're not comfortable doing, you, you're going to have a good chance of uh, holding them down. And uh, Pace is kind of like uh, Bremen. We played him. Yes. Bremen wasn't used to throwing it 31 times. I don't know how many times Pace threw it tonight. But I don't they, have that. They threw it a lot more than they normally do. And, you know, if we've... Our defensive staff said if we make them throw the ball, then we we'll, we feel like we've done a good job and we'll have a good chance of, of holding them down. First series of the game, they threw the, threw the pass two out of three times. The same thing, they did the same thing on the first series in the second quarter. Uh, they did the same thing on the first series in the third quarter. They're passing the ball. Yeah, you got to make them uncomfortable, and that's not what they like to do. And, and that's what I like about our offense. I mean, we can run it, we can throw it, and, uh, you know, I think the defenses have to pick the poison. The Mac Daddy's doing a great job with the pound and shoot offense, the black shirts. This is one of those games where uh, Coach Hobb, the elder, George Hobbazell, you give up three points, that's like a shutout, Coach. Yeah, it was great defense all night long. and uh, You know, I thought our special teams were great tonight. We made all our field goals, uh, extra points. We had a turnover, big turnover on the special teams. I, I think we were solid across the board. Their field goal kicker came in six for eight on the night. He went one for three. Yeah, two for three. No, one for two. One for he missed. Oh, two. theirs. Theirs. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's no, a good we, kicker. We went two for two. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we're okay. We're perfect. Yeah, our, our kids kick ninety percent. They do have a good kicker. But oh, yes. When you force them to kick thirty-five to what forty-five yard field 44, goals, forty-seven you know, yards. High school kickers, most of them aren't going to make, you know, all three of those. No, they aren't. All righty, we're into the Sweet Sixteen, so we get to take on Monroe Area, a forty-two to seven victor over North Hall. Monroe Area is now. 10 and 1 in the region, or 10 and 1 on the season. They're the number two team from region eight. They beat the number three team from region seven. Yeah, I don't know a whole lot about it. We played them last year in the first round, but they have a brand new coaching staff, and uh, you know they've only lost one football game, so that tells you they're pretty good. And you know I'll get on the horn and find out a little bit about them, and we'll watch film all day Sunday, and we'll have a plan. And uh, we need another big crowd because it's going to be a uh, you know, it's round two, and yes. uh, we need to advance to get to round three, and hopefully we can play well, and uh, we need your help to be in the stands again. I, I really think uh, you made a difference tonight. Really, yeah. I really do. We, we had a big crowd. Yes, we, had we did. a good crowd. And um, I, we obviously we knew Pace wasn't going to bring a big crowd. The private schools never seemed to travel real big. But we had a good crowd on our side, and uh, I think it was a factor in the game also. Yeah, I do too. Uh, you know, we, we told the kids that we needed to get a big crowd there because we as a coach and the kids, you know, they, they were a little bit worried. They knew they had to play at their best, and uh, they were really focused all week, and I liked their demeanor today during, uh, on game day. It was just uh, it was a well-played game and a well-played, uh, well-prepared week of football. Now, you're around them a lot more than you are around me, and you had me worried. So uh, I, I told everybody it was 24-17, but I'll gladly take 27-3, and yep. that game wasn't that close. I could have told you they weren't going to score 17 on this day. Uh, I should have asked you beforehand. <laughs> All righty. Hey, we appreciate you watching the show, and if you would like to watch the boys of fall many times, 
Just go to CalhounTDClub.com. You can watch it as many times as you want. I guarantee you, you'll enjoy it each time that you watch it. Anything else? Nope. We're just excited to be moving on. You know, there's not you know, many teams left. There's only just, 16 yeah, left We have now. 16 left, and we've got to keep narrowing it down. But uh, we we got to get – we're healthy, which is a good thing. Uh, we came out of the game healthy, so we're rare and ready to go. Step by step, we're into the second round. Once again, thanks for watching the show. Jackets victorious 27-3. to They're on to the Sweet 16. You've been watching the Coach Hal Am Show.